Keys. Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Oakland, there was a jazz venue called the 57th Street Gallery. It was owned and created by a man named Floyd Pelham, who loved music more than anything else in the world. At the 57th Street Gallery, musicians from all over the Bay Area would come to play their music and entertain the audience. Floyd, being the owner, always took notice of the incredible talent that walked through his doors. But one musician in particular caught his eye, Calvin Keyes. A masterful jazz guitarist, Calvin Keyes was born in Omaha, Nebraska on February 6, 1943. He moved to the Bay Area as a young man and continued to pursue his passion for music. Calvin had a special talent for playing the electric guitar and he developed a unique jazz guitar style all his own. Throughout his career, Calvin Keyes played with some of the greatest musicians in the world, including legends like Ray Charles and John Coltrane. But it was at the 57th Street Gallery that he truly shined. Floyd approached Calvin one day with an idea to start a jam session called Blue Monday. Calvin loved the idea and agreed to be the leader of the house band. Every Monday night, the 57th Street Gallery would come alive with the sounds of jazz as musicians from far and wide gathered to jam together. Under Calvin's leadership, Blue Monday became a beloved event in the community. The venue was always packed with people eager to hear the incredible music being played. Calvin, along with his bandmates Leon Joyce, Glenn Pearson, Keith Sanders, Melvin Butts, Hashima, Art Maxwell, Butch Haynes, Juan Escovedo would sometimes come play from time to time. The 57th Street Gallery created an unforgettable experience for everyone who attended. Despite his fame and success, Calvin remained humble and dedicated to his music. He continued to play at the 57th Street Gallery and beyond, sharing his talent with audiences all over the world. And so the story of Calvin Keyes, the master jazz guitarist, and the 57th Street Gallery came to an end. But their legacy lived on, inspiring musicians and music lovers for generations to come. Thank you.